Welcome to another Digital Lifestyle.com video show. And we're going to be showing off today is setting up a HP uh, Media Smart Windows Home Server. You may have seen the video unboxing I did of this, the uh, home server. And so I haven't had a chance to set it up yet. So I'm going to set this up today. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to video the setup process. Uh, this, I've not set this machine up before, so you'll see, you'll see it as I see it, and we'll see what steps have been taken. Uh, I'm going to install the client software onto my uh, Media Center PC here, the Windows Home Server connector. Now I've had a Windows Home Server on this uh, network before, and I was actually using a self-build machine, which was this shuttle uh, machine. So this is going to get recycled at the Media Center machine. So what I'm going to do, uh, you've seen the unboxing already so I'm not going to show that bit, I'm going to unpack it, get it set up down here and then I'll have a look about how we get it connected up. So and I'll be right back when we get it connected. So before I actually connect this up, I thought I'd do is give you kind of an idea of the size of the unit here. So I'll just put it next to me here, you can get a, a feel for the, for the actual size. So it's smaller than my box that I'm replacing with this with. If you want to have a, co a closer look to it inside here and uh, some of the connectors and everything else, check out the unboxing video. So what I'm going to do now is uh, put this in position and uh, there's not really much to do for connecting up wise. I've got power. Um, on the back here there's external hard drive connections and USB power and network. So I'm just going to plug the power and the network in and then uh, I'll put the video back on. Okay. So got the unit on here down there and uh, my PC's up here so the first thing you did is actually have a look at the setup poster uh, let's see if I can show you that looks like here so we've got the poster with all the options on there and the very first thing it shows you on here is connecting that up uh, so you've got the power in there which is exactly what I've done and then it says switch it on so I'm going to do that now. So you can see the server lit up. Okay, and um, let's see what it says we've got to do. Let me, can you see that? Zoom in on that. So it says, uh, press the power back button on the back of the server. The server will take approximately 6 seconds to start. The LED indicators will flash and blink and change colour throughout the startup process. Wait for all the server LED lights to be solid before proceeding with the software installation. So that's going to boot up now and then we're going to um, install the, the client software on my uh, Mi Center PC. So we're interested to see how long this takes. This is the first time I've powered it on. I haven't uh, used this at all up to now. Uh, this machine, as you see from the unboxing video, has got two hard drives in, uh, which are, they're with a nice purple colour. Um, so I think that looks ready to me. It said wait till all the uh, lights are solid before proceeding with the installation. So I'm going to adjust the camera now and we'll have a look at the installation. So with the uh, server, we've got three disks on here. One is a restore disk which you use to reboot um, if you wanted to recover the whole system so you can actually boot off this one. One is a server recovery disk which is for restarting the server and uh, I guess re-imaging the server. And the third one is a software installation disk and that's what we're going to be using now. Now go back to the poster. Okay. So the poster says step two. You see that on there. Okay. So uh, step two is you must have average average you must have administrative privileges which I've got. Um, and then we can uh, complete the installation so we put this up disk in and follow the instructions so let's have a look at that probably wouldn't even normally read the, uh, the instructions but 
No, I just throw the disc in there. Put the disc in. Let's see what that does now. The lights haven't changed on the, on the server at all. If anything happens on those, I'll pan down. So you should be able to see that. It's given the option to run the install or uh, open it. So I actually run that. So let's next on the installation. Let's set the license agreement. Install. The .NET framework is already installed on this machine. Um, UAC is actually turned off. I'll be doing some work on the machine, so I've got that turned off at the moment. So you, that's why you don't see any UAC prompts. Okay, now this is the Windows Home Server uh, connector. I've seen this before when on my own build. So this is back. This is the actual home server. Oh, now, so this takes me through the initial setup. Next, now this when I've done on my own build is that it's gone through, found the server, and asked me for a password of the server. Now I haven't touched anything on this machine up, up to now, so I'm interested to see what this comes up with next. Okay, so now it's searching for the home server. So we click next. Okay, so this is the home server startup console, which I have seen before on my home built machine. So it seems to be going through some of the initial setup of the of the home server now. Okay, so it's now asking me the name of my my server. I'm going to give it a name, and uh, this one is going to be named after Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton, because I name all my machines after drivers. So I'm going to put my passwords in now. Okay, so I've um, put my password in here. No, that's not really my password in, but I didn't want to show that on the video. So uh, you've got to have a strong password, so letters, uh, numbers, and characters as well. And so you know, the uh, some of the, the uh, hash key or whatever you, you want on there. So I'm going to set for automatic updates. And I'll participate and automatic error recovery. Right, it's, it's now doing some updates. Okay, I think the one server's just rebooted then. Let's uh, see if I can show you that. There we go. So I think it's downloaded the updates and it's now doing a, a reboot. I can just about hear the hard drive actually, but you probably won't be able to pick it up on the video. So I think that's coming back into life now and up on the software. You can see it's uh, it actually says rebooting the Windows Home server on there. And down again. See the uh, lights changing colour, so they've gone blue now. 